How's it going, guys? Welcome back. It's Keith. With just a quick um, shout out to Fern Solo. I got his stickers today. Fern, thank you very much. I have the little roundy one on my laptop. I have the other little roundy one on my sticker board up on my closet. And I have your other one of these big stickers. This one, same as this one right now. I have her up at the shop carts on the wall. As you can see, there it is there. So I just want to say thanks to Fern. And if you haven't subscribed, boys, he does RC stuff, makes start, makes tracks, everything for them. Rock climb stuff and all those grey stuff with the RC stuff. So if he's um, interested in RC stuff, I'd suggest you should go over and check him out. He does uh, awesome stuff. Thank you, Fern. I received these yesterday and I wanted to wait till I was making a video to, to let you know. Uh, or to let, just to let you know that, that I got them and they came. Thank you very much once again. Everybody, please go out and check them out on Fern Solo's channel. Thank you. Another shout out I would like to give to is Jim from Jim's Model Garage. I, I'm sure. No, sorry. Yeah, this is actually James Morris, but yeah, shout out to Jim anyway. And all, I mean, all the other guys Chris from CD Scales, uh, John Paul from Dragno. Ken Robinson from Historical Scale Models and also from Show Rod Garage um, Throttle Power, Tim over there in Throttle Power, Frizzo from Frizzo's Model Cars Jeff from Jeff's Model Cars BG from BG's Model Workshop Fern from Fern Solo um, Mad Genius Productions, Joe Old Tom Rambler, 69 Hensley Hobbies um, Charlie Mack Model Works and um, Big Charlie's Model Garage Poppy's RC and Models um, Harpy Garage Harpy Model Shop should I say um, shout out to all you guys and if I left anybody out um, I have Monty Davis, I have James Testor, Michael Hintz, I have Sean from the Model, Scar Car Model Scale Car Guide channel, I have Russell from Russell Model Cars, shout out to all those guys and back to what I was down there, thank you Jim, James, James Morris. Thank you, I got your booklet that you sent me out for the engine detailing. It has super cool instructions that I'm able to easily read. Same as the little one Mike sent me, like a miniature version of this. I hadn't got as much picture detail or whatever, but I had a um, how to's and little diorama things, like what you attach to what and what way to do it. So basically, the two of them together are a must have if you're going to learn how to wire engines. So yeah, thanks very much, really appreciate that, thank you, and thanks Mike for your one too, I really appreciate that too buddy, um, yeah, one more thing, picked up these um, sand and sticks, got them before, they were alright, they work good, you get, a bit, you get a bit of use out of them, depends on how hard you use you sand the stuff with them, so yeah, I got the to go from sixty six one of them is what, sixty on one side, then a hundred, then medium two forty, and then a four hundred on the side of the two forty one, then six hundred and a thousand on the other one. So I really only wanted six hundred sandpaper but the the he hadn't hadn't got it ordered in or sanding sticks. He has to order it in, so I decided to get that them just because they had a six hundred in them. Well, anyway, there's my main kit. I said I'd jump in. Tim said he'd love to see me jump in on it. I never built a tank before, so here it is. French medium tank. Samu Samuha. Samuha. S35. It's a French tank, obviously. World War II from Meng. 
um, alloyed couple of it and decals included. So you get decals and included. I don't know if you get them all in all kits. I don't know. I don't even know if anybody else has gotten this French kit. I had a choice. I just decided to get this because it looked cool. A few of them had the similar look, but I thought that was more grey. And if you are looking at it right now on my camera, it's probably showing up this way, the exact same way. It's grey on the camera, but it's actually in person a dark greeny grey, like a real dark colour. The, the grey is probably like more of a shadow that I'm, that you're seeing on in the paint in the artwork. So that's my main entry kit. I'd like to say, um, yeah, I'm fine. I'm actually in. So that's me intro. There's the silver on pretzel. The body's all sanded. I done over a thousand, a fifteen hundred, and a two thousand. It was shiny. It was nice looking, but I had a few little nicks, like spots that were like dried paint where like I might have got something in or something but I sanded it all back as soon as I could to keep the colour I have clear coat I've never sprayed it over an air gun so it's only a cheap air compressor I have so I'm gonna try to use it it's a 50 euro one off the M eBay type site you know the, the ones with the red button on it all that anyway the DIY suction fan and vent but um, yeah, that's the silver brown pretzel. Awesome looking body. I think it looks better than the Tamiya bodies, to be honest with you. All you have to do is stick. The only thing I had to stick on that was the vents. The scoop on the bonnet scoop on the roof. And the, the, you get the cha choice of the normal spoiler or that spoiler. And I think this spoiler looks awesome on the in pretzels. So um, yeah, that's ready to go. I'll clear it. And if it doesn't look right, I'll sand the back again. Give it a fresh coat of purple and then I'll clear it again. So that's the plan and anyway. I've only got the interior tub is all just flat blacked. And I only have two of the wheels, the back wheels joined to the interior tub and the chassis. As you just can see. I went with gold metallic paint for the wheels. Um, the tub is flat black everywhere and there you see white is going to be um, glued for the cage and the seats and whatever else I have to put in here but, um, that's the chassis of the Super Brown Preza and the Mustang is ready to go nearly the only thing is I'm not going to put the engine in I'm going to finish the whole build and then I'm going to do the engine and then when the engines work, because I have to learn, I have to learn to do it somehow. I want to learn to get it to look half decent before I drop it into the this Mustang GT five hundred that I got off Chris from CD Scale Models. Um, yeah, as you can see, the mahogany on the doors is all done, the dash is all done. I I tried that thing that I sent to Ken Robinson where you the man drills out the the channel that he drilled out the cluster I, I only drilled out two the mile an hour one and the rev one and I put in, in the decals in between two clear pieces and glued them in place in place of where the holes were drilled out on the dash for the speedo and you can see clear through them so it turned out looks alright you just get a better look at that when I have it finished but um yeah, I'll end up picking them up today. And, uh, yeah, so, just to shout out to all you guys that have supported me from day one, thank you. And don't forget the giveaway is still running until next Sunday. And then all you have to say is I'm in a comment on that video. And you have to be already sub before the sub, the sub giveaway start. That's all. Can't be a new sub and jump in. Because it wouldn't be fair on any of the lads that have supported me from the start. Just the, the next sub goal is 400 subs, which I'll have two winners. I'll pick two winners, two kits will go out. So a random generator that'll pick the winner. So I'll record on the camera and I'll do it on my phone and the random generator. And then um, you can see how it's all done then. Because I'm just going by what you do on 
unused our channels and these are doing giveaways so I'm trying to be as fair as possible so um yeah if, any is, if I'm stuck on this tank which I've never built before a tank in any way shape or form I've never built a tank and this is a town tank so I don't know if, uh, if I, I'm just gonna follow the instructions and maybe I should build it before I prime and paint it would that be a good idea do you think if so just let me know in the comments because then if it's built and then I put primer all on, on it at the same time and then paint the body as it's meant to be and then touch up the parts that are meant to be a different colour or whatever I don't know but if it's, anybody has any advice for me for this build um, I super appreciate it and this is just my um, entry into the main group build so yeah count me in lads right that's coming on to 10 minutes 11 minutes now the only is our heads in so I'll let you go lads have a nice day please stay safe and then um, keep on building there and keep yourself busy and stay happy you know? stay healthy and happy that's all I'm happy okay well, lads see you soon thank you oh and just one more show to Gary from Transition Modeler thanks Gary for the trade that we done I couldn't get that key for Adam couldn't get it at all I, could, I got it a couple of times if you went onto eBay and typed in Alpha 155 you'll find the guy selling it by sprue He's, by the sprue he's selling it nearly say 10 euro to 15 euro for one one of his trays of parts and then looking for another 15 euro shipping and he's done it with one full kit so he's trying to make a couple of hundred dollars out of, out of one kit it's madness so i just hide a kit there i wasn't really mad into it i decided to get it just there a while back and when i heard that Gary was actually looking for it when I seen his video at that time. I didn't really think much of it at the time, but then I was sitting here and I seen that I'm subscribed to another guy. I think it's called Scale Lot or something. Yeah, he does great builds. Aluminous Green. I think he has the um, Fast and Furious Mitsubishi Eclipse as his picture. I think it is. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. He has a green car on his picture, profile picture. Um. I've watched him build that car twice and I've watched these videos over and over it's a lovely kit lovely car I always liked Alfred Romeo Ireland had an Alfred Romeo shop back in 1999 it was 98 and um, it was uh, down on what was the name New Street it's called New Street in Dublin Christ Church they had an old place I can't think of the name of it but they used to sell brand new Alfa Romeo's out of the place. But they were, it wasn't called Alfa Romeo the place. It was a certain auto place. Um, but yeah, I remember seeing the 155 there. T.I. Just a stock version there was. It was 16 valve. It had the spoiler. The little normal spoiler. It had all that. It was a real boxy looking car. did look at it. It had the, the convertible one as well. So. We always saw them, I just remembered them, but then when I seen the racing one, the kit, and the one that was on the, that was involved in the real races, I just had to get, I wanted that kit so bad, couldn't get it anywhere. But then I remembered, then I just said, I'd ask um, Gary if he can get that kit handy, I'll do a trade for him. But he, little did we know, he had it, he said he, he was sure he had two, but he can only find one at the moment. Any one of them would have done me fine. I just wanted to get that kit, you know. So, Gary, thank you. I appreciate it. And shout out to anyone there that watches me, Transition Modeler, if you're not already um, subscribed to him. He is changing the name of his channel, as he said the other day. But he has a BMW badge as his um, profile picture at the moment. So, he has, if he's, I'd say most of these are already subscribed to him. But if there's anybody that's subscribed to me that isn't, please go and check his channel out. Okay, thank you. I'll let you go.
and please stay safe. Bye-bye.